Hey guys, Technology with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your personal hotspot if it's grayed out or not working on your iPhone. So as you can see here, I have iPhone here. Pull down the control center and then press and hold right in the middle and that activates this connectivity menu. And as you can see here, personal hotspot is right there. Sometimes it's crossed out or completely grayed out so you can't turn it on. But there's a couple things you can do to hopefully fix that issue. First thing you want to do when you're having this issue is make sure your cellular data is turned on. Sometimes you may accidentally have this on. Make sure that is on. The next thing you want to do is turn on airplane mode for briefly and then turn it back off just like that. And what does a quick network refresh if there's any connectivity issue with your cellular connection, uh, it will hopefully resolve that and hopefully hotspot is working. Now, if you're still having the issue, the next thing you want to do is hop over to your settings. It should look like a menu like this. You're going to click on cellular and make sure cellular data again is on right here. And I'm going to verify um, that health personal hotspot. If you click on here, you can turn on just like that here and you can turn it off like that. So this should also allow you to turn on and off your personal hotspot if you can't do it from the control menu there. Now let's say if you're still having the issue, what else can you do? Well, the next thing you can do on your phone is do a quick force restart. And in order, order to do that, you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down. So these are going to be quick and then you're going to hold the side button on the right hand side till the screen goes completely black. And then once the Apple logo appears, you're going to let go of that button. So volume up, volume down, and then I'm going to hold that side button just like that. Now this method will not delete any of your personal things like photos, videos, apps, any data or anything like that. It's just a way to reboot the phone in a nice clean way so that any sort of software issue that's impacting your phone will be resolved. As you can see, once I saw the Apple logo, I let go of that button just like that and wait till it boot up normally. And after it boots up, I'm just going to enter my passcode to get back in the phone and hopefully this time around your Bluetooth is working. So you get a menu like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put my passcode in here to get into the phone. Alrighty, so once I'm back, it should be something like that and we're ready to go. Now, the next thing you want to do if you're still having the issue is if you have an iPhone 13 or older, you have this SIM card on your phone. So it's going to be either on the left hand side if you're not using the eSIM yet. What you can do is take that out with the pin like that, the SIM ejector tool if you have a earring or maybe a paper clip bend it that way. Go ahead and take out the SIM card for a moment just like that. And the reason why we take the SIM card out, again, your SIM card activates your phone service. We're going to take it out momentarily just like that and then as you can see here and then put it back in and what it does is allows the phone to reinitialize your services so if you had any sort of connectivity issue before with your carrier hopefully that will be resolved now if you're still having the issue the next thing you want to adding is just like that and then what you're going to do is go to general and then scroll all the way down where it says transfer reset iphone you click on that and then the op first option here for reset and then you're going to want to do a quick network reset so the second option here now what a network reset does is again it doesn't delete your personal data like photos videos or apps or anything like that what it does delete is things like saved wi-fi any uh, bpn setting or any connectivity settings related with the network and generally it helps when it comes to troubleshooting your personal hotspot so this will take about two to three minutes at most and then after that you should be good to go now if you're still having the issue the next thing you can do is go again back to your settings here and then this time we're going to general software update and make sure that you're up to date with the latest version of the software as you can see here right now we have a iOS 16.3 available for us here it will say install or download and install make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or greater and it connected to a good Wi-Fi or cellular data connection and by then you should be able to install the update and if there was previous software bugs or f issues that were impacting your phone that should resolve your issue and lastly if none of these work for you and you're still having issues with hotspot it's time to contact your carrier to make sure that the hotspot is actually enabled in your account and there isn't any connectivity issue with your carrier sometimes carrier have services that are down at the moment like personal hotspot and it might be impacted your phone and they can help you best resolve that issue so hopefully you guys found this quick little video helpful in troubleshooting your personal hotspot if so please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys and next time